video I am taking a very important reaction from the 12th standard. It is taken from the chapter alcohols, phenols and ethers. For the examination purpose also it is very important because the mechanism of this reaction will be asked to you. So let us start with the reaction. Hydration literally means addition of water. So in this particular reaction we are going to add water to the alkenes and as we know the alkenes are having double bond in them and because they are having double bond they are more sensitive towards the addition reaction. I think they have done it in the 10th standard also. Here I am writing down the simplest alkene. What is that? This is CH2 double bond CH2. This simplest alkene called ethene. This I am adding to water in the presence of H plus ion. And what will happen? As I told you this is the pi bond and this is sigma bond. First bond which is high, tightly held and the second bond which is more sensitive towards the addition reaction. So this bond will be broken down to create the valencies here and here. Let us see how this single bond, one bond is not there which is now converted into the two valencies and the other things will remain as such. Okay, so now this water as H and OH will be added to this molecule. So now what is formed? The ethene is now converted into what? Ethanol. So basically this is the overall reaction. But as I told you that the mechanism of this reaction will be asked to you. Okay students, let us start with the mechanism of this reaction. Actually we can study the mechanism in three steps. So I am starting with the first step. This first step is the rate determining step of this reaction also. Rate determining step of any reaction is that step which is the slowest one out of all the steps in which we are learning that reaction. So this first step in which the protonation of protonation of alkenes takes place. So what is going to happen here? Protonation of alkene which will give you the formation of carbocation. Let us see how it happens. I am drawing here simplest alkene with the double bond. Now hydronium ion which is formed by the addition of H plus to the water. This hydronium ion is going to attack to the pi bond which is present in the alkene and they are more exposed, more sensitive towards the addition reaction. As it is minus, it is a plus part, this electrophile will attack here on the pi bond and what will happen is, let me show you this by the picture that is H, O, H and H. This is your hydronium ion basically. So what will happen? This H will be shifted, this bond will be shifted to the oxygen making it a lone pair of electrons and this H plus ion will remain free and will attack on this double bond. What will happen then? Let us see. CH2, this will attack, this H will be added to this H will be added to this way and the carbon atom with the single bond is now having only two H's there and just because this double bond is shifted to that side this carbon bond, this carbon electron is now lacking of electron which will be shown by the positive charge here. So this becomes a lacking species, electron lacking species known as carbocation. So what is happening in this step is First of all, the protonation of alkene is taking place. Protonation of alkene means addition of proton to the alkene. This is giving rise to carbocation. Okay, so let us move to the second step. Second step for the reaction is the nucleophilic, nucleophilic attack of water on carbocation. 
So what is going to happen here is we are having this carbocation in the mixture. So this is I am writing down here CH3 CH2 having plus charge on it and we have water molecule inside which is having lone pair on it and just as we know all, all of us know that this lone pair is looking for the positive charge and this is why this water molecule will be added to the carbocation and this attack of water on the carbocation which is positively charged is known as nucleophilic attack. So what will be formed? CH3 CH2 and the attack of water O H and H and as you can see here the oxygen is now making the three bonds and this carbon is now getting the electrons so the positive charge comes to the oxygen because now we are sharing its own electron to the carbon. So carbon has got the electron that is why it is no more with the charges and just because oxygen electron has been converted into this bond pair. So here the lone pair of electrons is converting into the bond pair of electrons. So that is why the charge positive charge will appear on the oxygen. So this is the formation of the intermediate on the second step. Now the third step is deprotonation. What is that? Deprotonation to form alcohol. So as you can see here in this particular compound, we are going to remove what? Water from it. So this is I am writing down again here. So this is CH3. CH2, H2O. Now what will happen again? Now this bond pair is going to shift on the oxygen giving it lone pair of electron and this plus charge along with this H will move out. That is we will have this H plus ion. We will have this molecule as a whole in which the oxygen is containing its two lone pair which, uh, which it was having before that is CH3 CH2 and OH OH so this is your ethanol that is CH3 CH2 OH leaving this H plus ion behind and as you can see here the H plus ion is that ion with which we started the reaction and obviously it will combine, it does not exist as, as such, so it will combine again with the water to form what? H3O plus char. So this ultimately will happen and we started the reaction with this H3O. We have got this H3O back, so I can say that this H3O ions, yeah, H plus ion are working as a catalyst for the reaction. The very important part which I have observed that the students are not understanding is whenever you are going through a mechanism you just observe what is happening actually. All we can see here the only kind of changes are here the double bond bond pair is turning to the another bond pair or what will happen the lone pair is turning to the bond pair. How? like this and the positive charge will appear only with from which side we are getting the electron. So here the positive charge occurs on the oxygen and on the other hand side again when we take this electron pair to the oxygen back what happens is positive charge come to the hydrogen and this oxygen remains as such as it is having before that is two lone pair of electrons. I hope it will be helpful for you to understand the mechanism of the reaction. Thank you.